just with um, a statement that uh, needs to be made. There's a lot of people watching the videos um, that are watching the videos, but they're not really watching the videos uh, in a manner that's gathering what's being said. So I can't be responsible for people who gloss over something when it's put there, especially if it's only in a five minute video. There's a lot of the videos up there that have been placed in five minutes, so it's easier to digest, but they're sending in emails or making comments about things that were discussed in the videos, but then claiming that somehow they were misled uh, by the videos, which is, you know, that's, that's really upon, you know, the parties uh, who are watching. It's their responsibility. Uh, my responsibility is to keep things as accurate as possible. And because this is a shared journey, as it was stated from the beginning when these videos went up, um, I was in the same, well, we call it the same ship as everybody else. We're going to call it that implied citizenship. And because uh, we all have been kind of educated down the same line of thought um, by the same authorities, um, we need to be, uh, you know, doing our own due diligence. But the whole the whole essence behind these videos was to share someone's journey going down the research, trying to put light in that dark tunnel um, so that we could find this out together and share it. It wasn't to, uh, uh, you know, place myself as a savior. You already have a savior. You don't need me. Um, I'm just someone who's basically doing as much due diligence as possible to simplify things and then share how um, I've walked this journey over the years and sharing experiences. So there's a lot of videos in the archives going back, and you know, and I, I do feel uh, to some extent a little concerned of being over 400 videos or more, uh, but that's just what it is. And it's, it's because it's shared so much, uh, uh, so much research. So there's a lot of just simplistic experience in there that, that anybody could have done, sharing books, um, references, so many things, but they're there for you because they were there, put there for free because um, I believed I received free and therefore I would give free. And there's never been a charge on this and we have no interest in monetizing these videos um, to, to sell any information. Um, this is not for sale. This is free. And uh, therefore, it's just now a matter of uh, people putting the time and, and really making sure that they're watching the videos thoroughly and, and therefore not wasting time sending in emails or questions on things that have already been discussed. Um, because you can imagine what happens when you've got over 3,000 people uh, basically subscribing to a channel. And then can you imagine if every one of them sent in a question? Um, and the email has been actually getting really jammed in the last while, more so than I've ever seen. So it does take time and some things I may not respond back to because I believe that it was just a matter of you going back to the videos. So even just punching in, go back to the videos or watch the videos, that still takes time to do that. So please take some time, uh, relieve me of at least that burden and that pressure uh, because the videos are definitely there for your instruction. Now, the video we're dealing with today is called Authenticate. Now, there's a lot of confusion on what the government does when someone goes and takes their statement of birth record. We call that the long form in Ontario. It's the statement of birth registration, not to be confused with the wallet size birth certificate or what we call the short form. There may be variations of these in different countries, but pretty much the same format is being followed. So the statement of birth record, um, which someone would receive one of, comes on a nice little, you know, kind of bond paper, brown in color, brown kind of yellow. Um, and then basically you get one of it and you can, when you're, uh, going to be moving to another country, this one for sure they want you to have and then they want you to go get it authenticated. But uh, the interesting thing about the authentication is, is what exactly are they authenticating? So this is out of the authenticated document for use, uh, you know, basically, it's, of course the title is authenticated document for use outside Canada, and it says what are they authenticating? Well, what documents can be authenticated was under this, but it also, it, it made a very important statement in the overview section of the form they give out at the authentication office. And it states, the uh, authentication office does not validate the contents of documents. 
Okay. I had to get my head around that because I'm only going to be able to take that statement for what it says. So we're going to look at it. This is a document, correct? And there's contents on this document. I kind of say that the contents are probably within the frame. Maybe the contents really go outside the frame too, but it says that they don't authenticate the contents. But what are they authenticating? Well, it says that they only authenticate the signature and the seal of the government officials that are on it. So in other words, they're only authenticating the seal outside this frame has nothing to do with what's in there. Now, why would they not authenticate that? There would have to be a problem with that document that somehow has put a liability on the state that they would need a whole team of government legal lawyers involved to protect them. Because you don't need a, le you don't need a lawyer unless you're guilty of something. Innocent people don't need lawyers. Only guilty people carrying a debtor title of something that doesn't belong to them and they keep claiming it and suing for it as an applicant and having the government always respond as the respondent and giving you the free 30-day free trial offer because they'll try all who try to claim that it's their title when it's not. But anyways, um, at the worst end, if this, none of this uh, YouTube instruction works, I can always maybe do a stand-up for comedy on this. But the key thing is, they're only authenticating that seal. So don't ever get in your head that they're dealing with a statement that actually induced private content on it because they needed the private content that was not public information in order to pull off the bond that was going to be issued because they will not, under the Vital Statistics Acts, be able to issue a birth certificate or what we call a certificate of debt or a government bond or a government security without having the given name on there because it's part of the comparison of the documents they use, which would be the Form 1 the attending doctor fills out that has no information other than the surname of the parent. And then the Form 2 is when the parents fill out information but of course, it's just, you know, it wasn't required um, by law. They couldn't ask for something that's private. And so that didn't have to be filled in because the registration only really applies to the surname because that's the legal part of the title. The given name is not legal. It's, it's truth. It's fact. It's a given. And that's basically non-legal. Lawyers work in fiction. Legal works in fiction. It doesn't work in truth. It works with mixing the two together to create an error. So uh, the whole system that we're dealing with here um, is based on the truth that they will tell you. I know it sounds hard to believe they give you any truth, but they're actually giving you tidbits to let you know that they're not authenticating the framework of this document. Only the seal of the minister. So in reality, if I blanked everything out, it might as well just walk around with the seal of the minister. And that's what I've been telling you. They gave you the relief because a seal is the same thing as a coin or a signet ring of the king in artist language. They call that in relief. So they had to give you the signet ring of the king because this is under the great seal. The registrar general's office comes under that. And therefore, um, their seal is the authority here. But it's definitely not giving anybody authorization. It's just, just a kind of a statement made. Someone just made a statement. We'll call it an accusation. It doesn't mean it's true. And that's why they're very careful on the wording that's on the top of the document for the statement of birth record. It says certified a true photostatic print of our record. They didn't say the record's true. They just said that's a true print of a record that they have on file. And so we're, I think what's happened is we didn't take the time to look at it. And then we listened to what they call these sovereignty free man gurus. They're all jumping on the bandwagon in the middle of the information without taking the due diligence behind. You need to go through the document thoroughly and look at it. Maybe just take notes. One day, maybe take everything apart on it. 
Um, maybe just consider that you don't know what any word means anymore, and you're going to go and look up every word on that on that form, and you're going to make you're going to go through a dictionary, a decent one, not a convenience store one. Get a fairly thick one that has some definitions, and then try to break it down exactly what's being said on there. But this idea of assuming that you already know, big big problem. And so most of the emails I get are based on people assuming, jumping, not taking the time, and you can imagine. Um, after putting together a, a play, I would just say a day by day experience into videos, um, it was done to share with you exactly what you need to do. It'd be like me saying, if I was in your shoes, this is what I would do in research. And so I'm not claiming I'm infallible. Um, if you want, in, if you want something infallible, you have to be looking to your creator, which is uh, above you, but not to me. Um, I can make mistakes like anybody else, but I'm sharing what's there. Surprisingly, we haven't had too many people ever send us an email that ever said, oh, I found out that was a mistake. Um, generally, it's just people picking at things with ego, and they're not, they're not doing their due diligence. So please remember this video. It's very important. Um, this is there to instruct, to teach. Um, you have to tell people the bitter truth, and sometimes it's inconvenient while you're holding property uh, that doesn't belong to you in Caesar's world.